Hi, how's it going? It's Charles Botenston. I just reviewed Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, which if you want to know about wealth, this is definitely it. And Mind Power. This is, this is as I mentioned in Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, the book that I just showed. I didn't know that you can think yourself into success. I didn't know that you can think yourself into wealth. I didn't know you can think yourself into fitness. But then I considered actually the opposite. A lot of people say, well, I can think myself into that. I don't believe it. And that was really me. And then I started thinking the opposite, which is how I thought myself out of wealth, how I thought myself out of success. And then I said, wow, if I can think myself out of success, then I have to be able to think myself into success. And I started looking at, I, don't need, I think it was suggested on YouTube, and this is something that I cannot stress this enough, is that what you put into your mind is exactly what you think and how you feel and, and how you go and process the day. Literally, I do not have, by the way, we're in my apartment, I do not have, and it's been three years, I think we're approaching four years of no TV at all. No TV, no television subscription, so I don't watch any of the stupid garbage news networks, let alone reality TV. I'm a big sports fan, but then I notice that there's going to be another year and it's like, oh, you're a bandwagon. No, I still have a phone. I still look through the uh, scores and everything else. But the biggest thing is when you're on YouTube and there's so many resources on YouTube, it's scary. So one of them, which was, which came up was John Kehoe and he took a, a sabbatical and went into the woods for I think two years and he really wanted to understand he was doing pretty well in life and everything else but he really wanted to understand his mind and that's when he found out about mind power and that's when he wrote mind power is actually when he came out of the woods and started teaching it to people and noticed that they were getting results this book is scary um, it, it really is it, it's it's tremendous because I didn't think you can think as I mentioned I didn't think you can think yourself into success. I didn't think that you can think yourself into being fit, into being happy, into being successful. And he said, the outside results, and that's the key word, is it's a result. Your home, your job, the money you're making, your net worth, your fitness, things like that are results of your mind. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, you're right, because I have a choice. I can have a salad at lunch, which I usually do, or I can have... A uh, big carb sandwich loaded up with tons of meats and, and garbage on top of it and sauces and mayo and things like that. Or I can have a salad. And that's your result is the body from the food that you put into yourself. But the decision came to choose what to have. So it actually starts here. It is an amazing concept. It really is. And it's it sounds uh, very like... Not, uh, it sounds like woo-woo in the beginning, but when you, when you open your mind and you start thinking about it, you're like, wow, actually, maybe this is true. And then you start deciding what to think, which is crazy. You decide what to think. So say something, a fear comes into your mind. Should I make that phone call? Should I approach that girl and say hi and ask her out on a date? It's, it's here. It's not your conscious mind. It's your subconscious mind. So he breaks it down into 19 chapters and then he brings up suggested reading. So 19 chapters. He starts first about your conscious mind. So your conscious mind is what you know you're thinking. I like food. I like that kind of person to hang out with. I like that. But your subconscious is actually feeding your conscious mind based on years of programming. And he says that your subconscious or your Conscious mind is programmed by your subconscious mind, but you can reprogram your subconscious mind, which then reprograms your conscious mind, which then goes into thoughts, which then go into action, which then go into results. So perfect example is I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. You program yourself subconscious mind which then triggers your conscious mind. Okay, he wants to be healthy. How do I be healthy? Okay, which then becomes a thought. I want to be healthy. And then the decision is made, which is an action. The action is, okay, choose the salad. And then you eat it. And then the result is you're healthy. You know, when you see someone that's out of shape or poor, or it's, it's not anything but their thinking. 
and he starts with your conscious mind. He just dives right into it. It's a very short read. It's only 140 pages, 141 pages. It's quick. You can easily take this down in a day, but I highly recommend you continuously watch videos of him because this book was written, written in probably the 70s or 80s and uh, 87. Okay, so it was written in 87, the first print, and then the 12th edition. Wow, okay, so we're on the 12th edition was in 2014, but I highly recommend watching his updated, updated YouTube videos because he's truly amazing. So he'll go into your conscious mind. Then go into visualization, seeding, affirmations, knowledge, subconscious mind. So it's interesting that the subconscious mind comes so late into the book. Then intuition, dreams, reality, beliefs, imprinting, self-image, creativity, opportunities, healing ourselves, which is incredible. I actually use this because I'm very active. I play hockey. I run. I also go to the gym and lift. And sometimes I'll say uh, I had an injury when I was in uh, college. I played rugby. And one of the injuries was to my left knee. And sometimes it will randomly hurt. Like, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm in real estate, so I walk around a lot and throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, my knee hurts. But does my knee actually hurt? Or does my mind say, you're exhausted, let's try and think of a problem? And yes, there's debate over, should you not think about any causes? But in here, he brings up a story of people that had surgery on their knee and people that didn't. And the people, they both went under the knife, but the thing was people that went under the surgery to repair their knee, it was all the same type of surgery, felt the same results than the people, as the people that actually thought they were going under the surgery. They, they went under it. The doctors made a small incision, sewed it up, but didn't actually do any surgery. They both had the same results, the people that actually had the surgery and the people that didn't have the surgery because the people that didn't have the surgery thought they had the surgery. So they actually felt better than, and, they, and nothing happened. They didn't even heal. They didn't even do surgery on their knee. That is amazing. So, you can heal yourself, prosperity, consciousness. You know, a lot of people say um, hate rich people and things like that. But listen, if you have that as your mindset, you will never be wealthy because you'll tear yourself down if you become financially successful because you'll spend all your money. You'll say, I don't want to be successful because rich people are bad. Okay, well, you'll never be happy. Or if you're, and this is, this is the, the, the classic debate. The classic debate is you have, um, whatever you are, I think it was uh, Harvecker, which he wrote this, but Harvecker says, whatever you are as a, a broke person or not as a wealthy person, whatever, as a middle class person, and say you become wealthy is who you will be as a wealthy person. If you're a mean person, if you're a taking kind of person when you're broke, you're going to be a taking person as, you're, as you become wealthier. Like, I'm a giving person. I'm not wealthy. But when I become wealthy, I'm going to be giving. Like, I'm not going to just suddenly be like, no, I don't want to write checks. My checks that I write to organizations, like this month, or every month, I should say, I have an automatic deduction to three organizations. Every single month, I just give money. And that check or that amount of money is going to go up as I get more money. So who you are when you're broke is who you're going to become when you're wealthy. You're not going to just change. And that's the biggest thing is that the, the, the most giving people are the wealthiest people. So you have to get it around that wealthy people are not bad. Yes, there are wealthy people that are bad. And yes, there are, wealth, there are broke people that are bad. So that's what you have to get through your mind. It's like, oh, put them on. They're terrible. Well, listen, look at how many terrible people are broke. They break the law. Wealthy people break the law. But the thing is, the amount of wealthy people that break the law have to be smaller because they're scrutinized on a higher level. They're scrutinized because they have more people looking at them, looking at their finance, the government, uh, employees, their accountants, they're being audited. But broke people, they break the law and it's like, oh, okay, they're broke, don't worry about it. But someone that's wealthy, and I'm not saying to break the law, it's just if you're, people do it on both ends of the spectrum, not just look up at wealthy people and say they're breaking the law. Yes. 
They do, but you know what? The vast majority are huge donors. Look at all the sports figures. Look at all the businessmen. Look at all the actors and, and musicians that just give millions and millions and millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars every single year. Look at Bill Gates. Bill Gates made tons of money for the first half of his year, just like Dale Carnegie, or not Dale uh, Carnegie, uh, Andrew Carnegie, by the way, it's Carnegie, that's what they say in the History Channel, it's not Carnegie, but they say Carnegie. Uh, Dale Carnegie, Carnegie, and Bill Gates made money for the first half of their life, and they're giving away all of it by the end of their life, or the second half of their life. It's amazing what the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is doing. So, anyway, I just went into a total rant, but listen... Mind Power is a must, 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 must read. Anything you want to do. You want to stop drinking. You want to stop smoking. You want to become healthy. You want to become wealthy. You want to become happy. You want to do anything. It starts with your subconscious mind, which then goes into your conscious mind, which then becomes a thought, which then becomes a rea uh, a rea uh, which then becomes an action, which then becomes a result. We look at the result. I'm wealthy. I'm fat. I'm broke. I'm not happy. I have bad relationships. That's a result of all the actions and thoughts and conscious and subconscious things that are going in your mind. Anyway, five out of five stars. Highly recommend it. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube videos. The next book that I'm going to be reviewing is Quantum Warrior, which is also by John Kehoe. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, leave it below and I will talk to you soon.